5-4-3-2-1. Welcome back, Southwest Florida. We are here with an undefeated boxer. Undefeated like Floyd Mayweather. Let's meet the undefeated. And got Quentin here. Quentin Willis, one of our great Sunshine State champions, now turned professional. He's a legend in the community. We'll get over to Quentin in a minute. But let's meet the undefeated. How many, how many matches have you had? This is match number one. <laughs> she's had one, and she's undefeated, baby. Hey, you think you're going to keep that undefeated record going? Absolutely. We're going to work on it. Uh, tell me your name and how long you've been, how, when did you get into boxing? My name is Markeela James. What was the question? When did you get into boxing? How long ago? Um, I started about three years ago, and then I took a break and got back in it in January. What, what got you into the sport? Um, I did it strictly for fitness at first, but it began to be fun. So, train hard and get in the ring. What was it like up there in that ring, everybody looking at you in that third round? You're like, you might have been getting a little tired there. Nerve-wracking. <laughs> um, you just got to stay focused, stay composed, keep it calm, do what you know you got to do. Now, afterwards, I saw you talking to your opponent. You guys seemed cool after the fight. Yeah, ain't no animosity. Yeah, have fun. Let's go here. Hey, 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 hey uh, Quentin, what do you think about her? You get to see her at practice and she disciplined, she got a, she got some prospect to her? Yeah, she, I mean, she, she ready to go. Like, I think more than anything, she's just nervous. But I tell the trick, go for a retard. You might as well go for a retard. It's gonna, you're going to get hit, you're going to hit somebody. Have fun with it. <laughs> hey, hey, Quentin, uh, Team Willis, you guys are, are growing in fame and popularity and continuing to put out good people and good boxers. Talk about Team Willis. Uh, we got a, a new spot. We're doing all right, man. And uh, no, everybody's everybody coming in, and we, we're doing good, man. We It's a good place to be. It's a family-oriented spot. That's the biggest thing. Everybody come home, and it's it's home. I got a room, and I might move out, but my wife ain't let me yet, so that's where I'm at. The <laughs> winner. That's cool, man. I, 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 they were just calling me up to the ring because I'm trying to get some interviews. You hear this big crowd in here is about 250 people. Uh, Quentin, tell uh, tell people how you first got started in boxing and what has kept you in boxing all this time. Oh, um, I got a lot of whoopings coming up, so I was trying to learn to defend myself. My dad was a boxer, so it's either, you know, dodge, catch the belt, catch the belt, wrap it, wrap the belt. Nah, but honestly, I've been boxing all my life, man. It, it was, it's part if you show a kid something, that's what they're going to do. So we kind of, it's inbred in our blood. We bleed boxing. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't even hardly remember anything from, from, from day one almost. You had them gloves on like four or five years old. I remember when I was about five, and I remember being in the gym running around and the older guys like making me hit the bag and showing me stuff, and I was just punching and snot bubbles and having fun. <laughs> hey, Quint, when you see when you see all these people coming out, you see boxing right here in the heart of Dunbar at the Stars Complex. You know, it's almost like a dream come true, isn't it? Really, what, what, is it, what does it make you feel when you see this great turnout here? Honestly, it's, it's more, I'm proud of, of Team Willis. I'm proud of Lane Life. I'm proud of everything that ties into it because it's something positive with the community. With all the bad, bad lives we have with the, the shootings and stuff going on, but it's something positive still here. It's something for somebody to look at to say, hey, well, mine still got something worth going, you know? That's when you, got a, you got a match coming up soon people need to know about? Two weeks I'm fighting in at Hard Rock Casino in Mississippi, Biloxi, Mississippi. So I'll be there in two weeks, and then I'm back on again in October in Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. Tell us about the road work. You're getting that road work in. You're doing those crunches. Uh, what do people know? What, okay, let's go with that first. Talk about your workout routine. Um, I work out pretty much every day. <laughs> um, definitely got to get the road, road work in because stamina is big. <laughs> um, I don't like running, but you got to get it done. So. What What are you trying? You want? You got the six pack? I'm working on it. I mean, it's there. Right? Are you ready to show it now? No. <laughs> I know. Oh, Quentin, to show that six pack. Corner boxing out of the red corner is the John. Six pack. No, I got a, I got a muffin top. Right. Okay. All right, so uh, what, are, what are people saying to you? They know you box, like female boxer. Um, they don't believe it. They ask me why, and that shouldn't be in the ring because I'm too pretty and I want to mess up my face. But if you don't get hit, then you can't get it messed up. <laughs> there you go. You ain't there throwing some punches tonight. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> Didn't you get a trophy? I did. 
Okay, first bout, first got a trophy, undefeated. And this corner, the undefeated champion. Come on, everybody do that, everybody do this, do that. All right, you're watching Leaf is Live on Fox 4, and we'll be right back.